everyone, Fox is here. So today I'm bringing you a very quick video review of the play Hangman. The broadcast that I went to was on 21st of May and that was an encore broadcast. I'm not sure if it's still in the cinemas, but it still might be in some countries. So you would have to check antilove.com website for more details about whether there are still screenings in some other places or not. But I know for Cineplex Toronto, that was the last screening. I couldn't come to the um, original uh, live broadcast in April because I went to Jamaica, but I went to this production and I was pleasantly surprised by the fact that it was also full house and um, I really, really enjoyed this play. Handman is the play by Martin McDonough and it's produced by Matthew Dunster, I believe. The play itself was originally in the Royal Court Theatre, but then it was brought to West End. I believe it was the very first broadcast by Antilife from a different theater from a royal court, which is not a regular theater for Antilife broadcasts. Usually they're either from um, National Theater or from Old Vic or Young Vic. So this play is a sort of black comedy type of play. It has a bit of a morbid undertone to it, but it's also very funny. The play is set in a small English town back in the 50s, and the main character is Harry, and he's a hangman. He is played by David Morrissey, whom you should probably know from The Walking Dead. I don't watch the show, but I still recognize him for some reason. And he does a very amazing job of portraying Harry. So Harry is a handman. He's some sort of a local celebrity. People come to talk to him, to his pub, every single day. And on the day when they abolish the hangings in 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 the UK, in Britain, um, he... Um, a reporter comes to interview him about it and then some other guy a random guy named Mooney comes into his pub from London and he sort of sets some story in motion I don't want to say a lot of things I don't want to spoil it but essentially what happens is that uh, two years a couple of years prior to the events of the play Harry made a decision to hang a man who was uh, investigated and condemned for um, improper behavior. Uh, essentially, what it meant that he was raping women. And the man that was hanged claimed that he was innocent. And Harry never doubted himself. He always thought that he got the guy and that the guy was guilty. But years later, a couple of years later, when the story is brought up again, he starts doubting himself. And then there's weird guy that comes from London, and then Harry's daughter, Shirley, is gone missing. I don't want to say anything else, because that might spoil the play for you, but it's a very curious blend of morbid hangings and crime, violent crime and sort of humor and it's also set in a different age which which is quite quite interesting to watch i enjoyed the uh, the play i cannot really say that it was my favorite but it was definitely definitely interesting and even though it was morbid at times it was also funny what i liked the most about the play was acting acting by david morrissey as harry was superb and also acting by johnny flynn who was mooney was also very very peculiar so to say it was very good the acting was perfect and the stage itself most of the time uh was set at as a bar as a pub and i really liked that too but in terms of the play itself i found it a bit creepy at times and i also don't like the subject of violence against women and that kind of set me off a bit, but at the same time, it was well done. It was funny, it was good, and it may not have been the best production that I've ever seen, but it was still very good. So if you want to check it out, if you're not afraid of, you know, watching something with a bit of morbid uh, morbid stuff in it, it, it was not gory. I've seen quite a few gory plays with a lot of blood and everything, say, Coriolanus or something like this, but it was not gory. It's a comedy, but it does have that black humor aspect to it that you have to be aware of. 
there is uh, some other information that I want to share with you guys uh, before the broadcast of Hangman. And I'm not sure if they did the same for the original screening because I went to the in-core screening, like I said before, on 21st of May at Cineplex. I went there and I was really surprised because there were a couple of people who were giving out flyers and those flyers were for the local production of Skylight and it's gonna take place at Berkeley Street Theatre in Toronto between June 15th and July 9th. If you don't know, Skylight is a very good, well acclaimed and as you can tell, Tony Award winning play by David Hare. David Hare um, wrote Skylight quite a while back. I'm not sure when exactly, but Anti-Life had, National Theatre Live had a production of it with Bill and I, a very good production, an amazing production of Skylight, I think two years ago, uh, for which they got a lot of nominations and they got awards. Uh, Bill and I was amazing as the main character Tom in it. Uh, the story itself is... Um, it's a Roman story essentially about a guy who um, used to have a very young mistress and uh, they separated three years ago but then when his wife dies he comes back to her because they're still still in love with each other. It seems kind of simplistic and the setting of the play was also very simplistic because it all took place in one small apartment of um, this female character whose name is Kyra, I think. Yeah, so it was, it all took place in Kyra's um, apartment, but the acting itself was so good and it was so intense and I really enjoyed Skylight. That was the very first play by David Hare that I ever watched. And if you don't know who David Hare is, um, please check him out online. Um, you may not be aware of this, but uh, David Hare also wrote Judas Kiss that was just recently on uh, Mirvish Theatre stage at uh, Pantages Theatre. I went to see that production as well. It had, oh my god, it was an amazing production. Uh, Judas Kiss, I probably will make a separate video about it, but Judas Kiss is about life um, and imprisonment and the death of Oscar Wilde. And the uh, main, main role of Oscar Wilde was portrayed by Rupert Everett and that production was very good. I really enjoyed it. And I may do a separate review of uh, Judas Kiss because I watched it I watched it back in April, so about a month ago, and I really enjoyed it. So anyways, um, uh, David Hare also wrote, uh, besides Skylight, he also wrote Judas Kiss. Um, so if you want to check it out, please do. It's no longer on um, at, um, at the stage in Toronto, but I'm pretty sure it should be available somewhere else. I'm not sure where they're touring exactly, but they should be touring somewhere. Uh, but back to Skylight, and um, I, I want to explain why I'm talking so um, so long about Skylight in my review of The Handman by Anti Live. It's just because it happened right before the screen. So what happened was those guys were giving out the flyers, and uh, then they did a very quick information about this production. So it will have Lindsay Marithew, Sarah Topham, and um, Tim Dowler Coltman. I'm sorry if I pronounce any of the names wrong because I'm just not very familiar with the, those actors but it will be at Berkeley Street Theater and what they did is that they did a very quick contest and I won it yeah I won free tickets to the skylight I I haven't received them yet but I'm really excited it was just it was so so surprising I was really surprised because I didn't expect them to do any sort of contest and their question was who one of the two famous actors was in the Skylight production of Into Life, and since I was probably one of the very few people in the audience who watched that production, I of course yelled Bill Nye and I won, and I feel a bit bad uh, for that lady who yelled right after me. But first come, first served, I guess. <laughs> I got so yeah, I'm going to get free tickets for Skylight. But this is not why I'm telling you about this. I'm telling you this about because I have a coupon for 20% off. If you cannot tell, uh, you have to use the coupon promo code SKYLIGHT to get 20% off. So it, according to 
a very tiny, tiny, tiny font here. It should be applied at the time of the purchase with the use of the promo code and um, what does it say? I'm, I'm sorry, I'm blind. Um, so the promo code can be used towards the purchase of any available Skylight ticket during June 10th to July 9th. So between June 10th and July 9th, you can use uh, the promo code Skylight if you are happen to be in Toronto and if you want to go see this play at Berkeley Street Theatre, which is on 26 Berkeley Street, Toronto, you want to go and use that promo code and go buy a ticket. So yeah, I was going to, honestly, when I got the flyer, I was going to use the code and I was thinking about texting my friend and go like, hey, do you want to go and see this play? But since I'm getting the tickets for free, I might share, I might as well share this promo code with someone else. And I'm pretty sure there is no limit. So you can probably use it more than once or give it to your friends because every, every single person who got the flyer had the same promo code on it. So yeah, check it out. Um, I always try to support local theaters. Not only I go to anti-live broadcasts, but I also go to productions by such big theaters as Mervish Productions. And I also go to see uh, productions at the Lower Ossington Theater. I admit that I've never been to Berkeley Street Theater before, but I've been to Canadian Stage a couple of times and I've been to Lower Ossington Theater as well. And so far, everything that I have seen on stage in Canada, in Toronto, was pretty good. And I'm excited about it. So yeah, please check it out. I'm going to leave the information down below for you as well. So if there is anyone, anyone from Toronto who's watching this, please spread the news. Go to see this play because honestly, David Hare did an amazing job with this play. And even if romance may not be your thing, which is not my thing for, for sure, I'm pretty sure you will enjoy this one. Anyway... This is it. I'm not going to talk anymore. I just want to say that I'm in no way affiliated with any theaters, anti-life, Berkeley Street Theater, or anything else. I'm just a very happy fan of theater who got tickets for free and now who's sharing a promo code with you. That's all I'm going to say. I hope you enjoyed my review of Handman. I hope you're going to get to see it. And if you're in Toronto, please check out Skylight as well. And if you enjoyed my review, if you want to hear me talk more about theater, please let me know down below. I know that I created this channel to talk primarily about books, but since theater is a very close in my passion <laughs> to books as well, I would love to talk about theater more. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you very soon. Bye!